Good morning and welcome. Thank you for listening to this uh, recording today. It's Lon here from the Parish of Central Senate. We're preparing to preach for Sunday, July 16th, the seventh Sunday in Pentecost. And actually we're having a uh, special preacher this Sunday, the Reverend Paul Schumacher, who is in uh, the Diocese of Island and Inlets and, and goes to particular interim ministry as called by the bishop and uh, it's but when because he and his wife Lynn live in the neighborhood uh, this is their home parish these days you've maybe seen Paul come and go he's he's here when he's not off somewhere else um, taking care of other parishes so we're honored to have my friend and my colleague Paul be with us preaching this Sunday I'll be presiding so uh, the two of us will be working together and we look forward to that it's been a while since we've been able to do that together uh, it's a regular Sunday. We have nine o'clock worship services at St. Mary's and 1115 at St. Stephen's. And of course, as always, you're all welcome to either or both of those services. And if you're not able to uh, attend because you're out and about or other matters, I hope that this uh, snippet gives you an idea of what Sunday will look like. We have some really good music planned in both places and uh, with Paul as a guest preacher. So just to liven up this snippet and give you a, an idea of what's to come, I've asked Paul to record, so I'm going to step out and he's going to step in. Thank you. Good morning. This week we join Jesus and the disciples at the seaside. A crowd is gathered on the shore to hear Jesus. And there are so many people wanting to hear his every word that Jesus needs to find a way to reach out to all of them so that they can hear what he is saying without Jesus having to repeat his words many different times. Jesus finds a solution to this problem when he climbs into a boat and has the boat anchored a little bit off the shore so everyone can hear what he is saying. So as he stands in that boat off the shore, what is Jesus speaking about that has attracted so large a crowd? And how does the topic of gardening and seeds enter into what Jesus has to say? I invite you to join us this Sunday if you are able to, and to discover more about this story and the message that Matthew shares with us in this gospel passage from the 13th chapter, appointed for this, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. Archdeacon Lon and I look forward to having you join us if you're able to come to this area on Sunday. Until then, may the Creator bless your coming in and your going out. Amen. <laughs> 